Hello and welcome back to another video. So I thought I would do a kind of what's in my pencil case type video, but I don't actually use a pencil case and with the current quarantine, lockdown, pandemic situation, I actually try and get out for walks as much as I possibly can and this is what comes with me. So if you don't know what Etcher is, it's a a company, I think it's based in Australia, that, that first um, started making kind of satchel bags, like art bags specifically for artists and um, a couple of years ago I actually kickstarted their second round of bags. Um, so they, I, I have the bigger version and this is their Etcher mini satchel. So this is just a mini version that um, it's kind of like a pencil case basically that travels around with you and the, the quality of these bags are amazing I highly recommend getting them I will link it in the description below the website to get these um, but everything is waterproof and it's kind of it's army grade stuff so um, not necessarily on this bag but on the, the bigger satchel there are kind of grips where you can you can hook things into it on everything and everything is uh, modular on the bigger satchel and this is just a really good miniature version to take around if you don't want to carry a big bag with you. So I'm going to take off this strap because it's going to clang around everywhere and get on my nerves. Um, but I tend to have a what would you call what do you call these a um, a carabiner. So I carry this around with me because. Recently, if you follow me on Instagram, which is at Lucy Locks Art, I took a trip up to Northumbria in the north of England and um, did some sketching on the beach. And I actually strapped my trainers to this when I put my flip flops on, and it's just a really handy thing. You can strap a water bottle to it and all sorts. So I keep one of these on it. It's not a proper climbing one. Um, it clearly says not for climbing here, so um, I need to make sure I don't use it for any heavy lifting. But I'm going to take these off because it's just going to make a lot of noise. Whilst we're, whilst we're filming this video which is going to get a bit annoying so um, as you can see on the front here I actually keep again if you follow me on Instagram I am a bit etcher mad so everything <laughs> I have a lot of etcher products um, and recently they they get they paired, paired up with Viviva colour sheets um, to create these watercolour uh, sheet booklets which are so handy to just carry around with you I can't even explain how much I use these. This is the more recent version, the spring edition, but as you can see, this is very, very well used um, in here and it's just so handy um, to carry these around. Um, I carry them on the outside if it's not raining and obviously if it's raining, I have to put these on the inside because they will just run everywhere and that's not great. Um, I carry a little colour sheet around with me just in case I want to make some contrasting coloured art or something like that. Um, it just helps me pick some things. I actually made this myself so it's not the best colour wheel ever. Um, I am quite aware of that. So I'll put these to one side and inside here it's very jam packed and again just one more thing to note on the outside this is so handy it has little straps here which fit perfectly with the larger satchel um, and also just you can strap them to any bag a rucksack anything and it's just really really handy to have so this is what the inside looks like so I tend to keep my moleskin 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 whatever you want to call it sketchbook in here um and there's been a few videos where i've actually done sketchbook tours of two of these sketchbooks and they have to be one of my favorite just because of their size i'm very much a smaller sketcher i don't really enjoy sketching on big pieces of paper um, it's just not my style um, so this is the perfect sketchbook and it actually fits perfectly in in this um satchel now Etcher have made their own sketchbooks and they do do a smaller version but it's still kind of on the larger side and it doesn't quite fit in this if you've got a lot of supplies in here so I, I tend to stick with this sketchbook in here. And then onto the inside here, like I have mentioned it it can carry a lot of things. It, the bigger version is very modular whereas this has just got storage in every little area of this satchel that you can think of so we have a pouch at the back here which i don't tend to use these big pouches um i don't well this one has um what do you call it kitchen roll in it just for when i'm doing watercolors um and things like that um but yeah the, there's some nice pouches in the back there so i could always slide my sketchbook in there if i don't want it on the inside to get dented etc there's a lot of things you can do in that um, and another thing to note is this this grey fabric here is so soft it's 
amazingly soft. Um, yeah, I don't, there's no real reason why it's soft, it's just really lovely and soft. Um, and this is what I was talking about, about the um, kind of military style of bag where there's everything you can it's very modular you can fit things in all of these little straps there's bigger straps there you know it's just it's very handy to fit as many supplies in here as you possibly can and it's so well made that this is often so jam-packed full of things that i always think if this was a normal bag this this um, zip would definitely have broken by now um anyway let's get into the supplies so i'm going to mention a few small things first so i always keep um, it's either usually a clip like this or a bulldog clip or something like that and it's purely for if I've got my art uh, open like this it's to pin the pages together if they start opening too much um, and it's really really handy for things like that so I keep a bulldog clip in there and likewise a little paper clip also in there for this reason. So I'm going to move this to one side slightly and I'm going to bring in a sketchbook so you can see some of the supplies a little bit more clearly. So, um, on the left here are some Faber-Castell uh, coloured pencils. A lot of things in this are actually things I've received in scroller boxes and that's purely because they tend to only give you one or two supplies and so they fit perfectly in here, they're not part of a set that I keep elsewhere and sometimes they're just really nice to work with these strange supplies that I don't usually work with so that's why there's a lot of things in here like that. So I actually have, have got these five uh, Faber-Castell polychromos pencil crayons, coloured pencils, whatever you want to call them, and they, they, if you, if you are part of this art world on YouTube or Instagram, etc., you will know these are very, very good quality pencil crayons. And personally, I cannot afford a very big set of these, so just having these five is actually really nice because every so often I get to work with this very high quality coloured pencil, and they are extremely soft. I cannot tell you how soft and pigmented they are and they're just beautiful to create a little piece of artwork with and I think the scroll box they came in it was bee themed I think and um, so I actually did bee in these and as you can see those colours are perfect for that. Um, another pencil that I have in here is the Stabilo um, Aquarellable I think that's how you say it. Um, it is a water soluble white pencil crayon um, this is something I don't use as often, but it is quite a handy thing to have in there just to soften colours. Um, not so much highlights, the white polychromos is probably better for that, but it is very good for softening the pencil crayon. So that's a set of six there, um, crayons. So next in my satchel, I actually have these water-soluble pencil crayons. These are Derwent, and again, these came in a scroller box. So they gave us a set of six, and they're perfect for when I want to pair them with my etch -a colour sheets when I'm doing a piece of watercolour art. Um, the colours are lovely. They're very um, natural colours, I would say, um, if that's the word to describe them. Um, and they're just they're lovely and soft and just very nice to work with. Again, um, just a generic watercolour pencil, I wouldn't say there was anything special about them. The next segment in my satchel, I actually I kind of call this my pencil and uh, highlighting section. So it has a selection of pe pencils in here. So we have just a generic uh, Mars Lumograph, which I think is water soluble as well. We have a Creta Colour Monolith, which is one of these pencils that's fully made out of the um, graphite. And another one, a Stedler. A fully graphite pencil as well, very heavy and nice to use. And then I have a Derwent um, watercolour pencil as well, as well as this Derwent precision pencil, which I keep the refills for in here too. So um, I keep a selection because it just depends what I feel like working with. Um, like I say, two of these are water soluble, which is very nice to work with um, just as a sketch and you want to do a quick wash over your pencil rather than colouring it in etc. It's very handy for that. And then these two um, fully graphite pencils are very nice and heavy on your hands and likewise with this Derwent Precision but it is a very, um, it's a mechanical pencil so it's a bit finer when you're drawing etc. And then I keep your very typical Jelly Roll and Univol Signo in here just because they are just perfect for adding highlights to your artwork so that's why I keep those in this section. 
So the next area of the satchel is actually my inking section. Um, it's running a little bit light at the moment, um, but these are kind of a few go-to inking pens. So this is my Pigma BB Secura pen. This is, it's kind of got quite a wide felt nib. And I actually, I think I used this for my Inktober uh, 17, 2017, when I was doing my um, ink cap. Uh, comic that's the word I'm looking for when I was doing my ink cap comic I actually use this for the entire um, comic why well, can't I think of that word all of a sudden anyway that's what I use for that and it's very nice it's very thick and you can get finer lines as well it's just perfect for inking on the go really and um, very diverse and then next I have this uni pin fine line it's a 0.3 so it's not the finest but it's also just fine enough for little miniature details whenever I need those Next, I actually converted a water brush into an ink brush. So I put some drawing ink in here because I really like the fact that it's got real bristles, um, like a water, um, like a brush. For sake, I can't think of any words today. Um, and it's, it just puts some really nice light washes of ink on my work so I can add depth to something without adding really dark lines with a normal ink pen. So I really, I really like that. I highly recommend doing that, but you need to have a look and make sure it is a water soluble ink and also water it down before you put it in these pens because it will clog up your brush. Um, and then lastly from the inking section is just a Pilot um, liquid ink pen. It's more for writing this um, than a uh, inking pen, but can be used for both uh, likewise. So this next section is actually just three pens and again, <laughs> as I keep mentioning, I got these in a scroller box. They are Zig Clean Colour Real Brush Water um, based pens. So they have real uh, tipped, let me see if I can capture this on camera for you. Um, so you can you see the separation there in the brush bristles um, and they're just really nice to work with. Um, I, it's kind of the kind of brush pen that I would use for uh, doing bold colours. So I'll show you something in this sketchbook that I did with them. Um, I did Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead and it's just getting the lights and shadows on um, a, a piece of art which I really enjoy doing and I just like keeping them in here for that reason really, adding a little bit of colour and they blend so nicely. No matter what paper I use them on, they blend really, really well. Um, so it's something that one day I'd like to get a set of them, but at the moment just having three is good enough for me um, and it's nice to just carry around um, wherever I go, basically. And then this next section is actually just full of water brushes. So I have a travel brush here where you take this out, um, slot it in there and you've got a nice water brush for painting. Um, I've got, I think that's, I don't know what brand that is, it doesn't say. I think this came with a Koi watercolour set that I got in a scroll box again. Um, this is a Pentel, no it's not, I tell a lie, it's a Faber-Castell water brush. I usually keep these pretty full up, so every time I leave the house I've at least got water in all of them. Um, and I think I've got uh, a Pentel one here. Oh. No, nope, it's a no brand one, um, but this is just a wide nib, less used in here, but um, good for washes and things. And then I keep a pipette at the back here for dropping on water whenever I need to. So that's also a handy thing to have in there. And then lastly, just a rubber and a little sharpener for all my pencils. So that is basically everything in this satchel slash pencil case, I would call it if I'm out and about. Um, and it is just a perfect little thing and these supplies are my kind of go-to as I'm out and about traveling and often when I'm just sat at my desk and wanting to sketch in a sketchbook I tend to whip out this rather than going to get something from the rest of my room unless it's specifically to use something um, and it's just a perfect thing and as you can see there's still compartments here that I could fill up if I didn't have the sketchbook in here I could fit a lot more in here and carry a lot more with me and it's just perfect so I hope you enjoyed watching that and Give me a thumbs up if you did and give me a comment if you want to see kind of a, a part two to this that i actually show what i put in my larger satchel and um, that could be something i could do a video on as well so please let me know and i hope you enjoyed watching thank you